now Take a step outside and seize the day now Set aside your worries, it's so Welcome back to my channel. So this is becoming a weekly thing around here and this week is gonna be very football inspired. So today is Sunday and of course that means a lot of football going on. We're in our cozy clothes and there is two things that are really great, I would say football snacks or like football Sunday things around our house. One of them is definitely a must go to and that is my buffalo chicken dip. It's super easy and some of the stuff I don't even have measurements for but I'll do my best to explain it on the screen as I go and then the second thing I'm going to be showing you is pizza stuffed mushrooms and the reason that I'm saying pizza stuffed mushrooms is because they're very like pizza inspired and have a lot of ingredients that you would put on top of a pizza and they're so so good and for those of you, and it's not that you have to be on keto to, do, to eat these things, but for those of you that eat keto as well, I'm gonna show you some options and how I work that. The mushrooms themselves are totally keto. You're totally good on that. But whenever it comes to eating the buffalo chicken dip, most people eat them with tortilla chips, which this is what my husband and my daughters will be eating it with. And yes, we have one or two that like spicy things. They will sit there with a cup next to them and eat buffalo chicken dip and drink water or milk because they think it tastes so good, but it's hot. And then um, for myself, I'll be eating them with pork rinds, which is, these are just a plain pork rind, um, and they work out really great for to stick to keto. So let's go ahead and get started. The other awesome thing about both of these is you can stick them in the oven at the same time, and I tend to kind of check my stuff as I go. So what I'll do is whenever I show the finished product, I'll put on the screen how long I left it in the oven. So I'm gonna set my oven at 375 and I'm gonna show you what all goes into everything. Okay, now that it's preheating, I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients that you'll need. So we'll start off with the buffalo chicken dip. So you're gonna need two cans of chicken. These are 10 ounce. I think sometimes they fluctuate around 10 ounce, but these are just the ones from Target. You'll need two of those. You will need a block of regular cream cheese. You will need a block of, sh of sharp cheddar cheese. You could buy this already shredded, but I personally think that cheese melts so much better and tastes so much better if you shred it yourself. And then you can have either ranch or blue cheese. We love both, so I kind of alternate between them, and sometimes I even put both in, but this time I just grabbed a blue cheese dressing. Then you're gonna need your favorite hot sauce. It really doesn't matter what brand you use. Lately, we've been kind of going towards this brand, but we also really love Frank's hot sauce as well, and then I showed you the chips. So what I'm gonna do is I love stoneware. In fact, most of the time whenever I'm baking, I use stoneware. So this is one of my round stones. And um, if I can find, this was actually bought a long time ago, but if I can find a good Amazon dupe for this, I will link it below. I also It also has a lid, but I don't need the lid for this recipe. So um, sometimes with stoneware, if they're really, really old and very seasoned, you can get away with not even um, oiling them. But this one is not old enough. It's not seasoned well enough to just throw the ingredients in. So I will be seasoning this with olive oil. You guys will see that in a second. All right, moving on to the mushrooms. So obviously you need mushrooms. And um, I generally get the smaller packs, but I really feel like you make enough stuffing for them to um, be able to use the bigger pack. And um, I'll show you a little tip and trick for the leftovers of this stuff a little bit later. So you'll need the mushrooms, you will need cream cheese for this as well as your base. You will need pepperonis, olives if you like olives, and a bell pepper and an onion. I love using purple onion for this. And then you'll need mozzarella cheese because most of the time pizza has mozzarella cheese on it. Also some seasonings that I put into the stuffed mushrooms is just some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. So now that you know everything that you'll need, let's go ahead and get cooking and I will show you how to put it all together. To get started making my chicken dip, I go ahead and put the block of cream cheese in the microwave if I forgot to set it out on the counter. And this day I definitely did because we had church earlier and I just came home and started making everything. I shred up my block of cheddar cheese and you'll wanna set aside half of the shredded cheese. 
Next, you'll wanna open up your canned chicken, drain it off and add it to the bowl. Okay, here is where you'll have to use your preference. I mix in the hot sauce and the blue cheese or ranch if you're using ranch. And honestly, I've made it so many times that I go by the color of it, but you can test taste as you go because the chicken's pre-cooked and you're perfectly safe to do that. I seasoned my stone because like I said, this one is just not there yet to be able to be kind of non-stick. And then you're gonna wanna add that other half of the shredded cheese to the top and it's ready for the oven. Okay, now we're starting in on the mushrooms. So I like to have a bowl for all of my scraps and you wanna go ahead and dice up half of the mushroom into really small pieces. You're gonna notice I have that glass bowl there as well. This is my little trick that I was talking about earlier. I actually saved that for doing omelets later because that's just a perfect simple meal to make on a Sunday night is these great western style omelets and so i add both half of the onion to that bowl and half of the pepper and then the other half goes into the mushrooms you're going to want to take about half of the can of olives and put it on your cutting board and just kind of finely chop it once you do that heat up your frying pan and put about a tablespoon of butter in the pan then add your onions and peppers to cook up until the onions are somewhat opaque then take a handful of pepperonis and dice them up as well Okay, I shredded up about half of the block of mozzarella. You wanna set half of it aside and half of it into the mixture of everything. Last, you'll put half a block of cream cheese in, a teaspoon of the Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of the garlic powder, and then you'll mix it all up. This pan is actually very well seasoned, I will admit, but I like the browning that happens on the bottom of the mushrooms whenever I put a little bit of oil in when doing this recipe. It's time to stuff those mushrooms. And then you'll top with the remaining cheese. Lastly, I took the middle part of the mushrooms, the stems, and put them in with my omelet mixture for later. I put everything in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm not gonna give you an exact time because you'll definitely need to take that into consideration depending on how hot your oven is because you're basically just heating everything through. And that is your end product. It's so delicious. Oh my goodness, such a perfect Sunday afternoon treat. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.